Good Sunday evening, everyone. Welcome back. I am so happy to have you join me and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope the weather was also beautiful wherever you are. In tonight's video, we are starting a three-part series where I share my routines with you. For those of you that follow me, you know I am very routine oriented. I am somebody that operates on habits. I believe that failing to plan is planning to fail. And for that reason, I love to have a schedule and I love to have a routine. Now, things come up and things can get off kilter. We all know that. But I can say from experience in running this tight ship for so many years that if you plan ahead, you can almost face anything that comes your way. One of the things that I do, and I've done this ever since my children were babies, is I have had a Sunday night or Sunday afternoon routine where I wrap my head around the week, I get everything out, I even do small little things that may seem minuscule, and why would you do it? But believe me, in the hustle and bustle of the morning, little things that you do on Sunday to prep for your week or things that you do in the evening to prep for your morning can make a huge difference. What we are going to do is we are going to walk through my whole Sunday night routine from start to finish, and then in a few days, I will come back and I will share with you my morning routine, and then we will also share my nighttime routine. I know many of you have waited for this series. I'm excited to bring it to you. I cannot tell you how convicted I feel <laughs> in having a system like this. If you feel like you are frazzled all the time, it will take time to get this habit going because you have to do it for a period of time before you get it down. But believe me, I think you will find that you are being so much more productive. All right, let's get started with the Sunday night routine. When I do my Sunday routine, I like to do all the things that I physically have to do before I sit down and do the paperwork portion because I tend to wind it down when I'm doing that and I don't want to have to get back up. The very first thing we're going to do today is fill my coffee mugs for the whole entire week. I have all of my coffee mugs in this cabinet and I set out every single one. Then I take my stevia and I pour a stevia in each mug. I know this seems very petty, <laughs> but believe me, doing stuff like this saves time in the morning. When I used to work outside of the home, I was so thankful that I did this. I have a little garbage canister here to put my little stevia mugs in. I think I got this at a dollar store. I take my Himalayan pink sea salt and I add a little bit of that to each mug. So I'm really just prepping my coffee for every day of the week. Because I am going to have two more cups of coffee, I open two more stevia and I just stick them inside each mug. It seems confusing how I do this. You'll, you'll understand more when you watch my other two routine videos. I have three mugs of coffee a day. This is prepped for three mugs. I just recycled the same mug. So I have one for each day of the week and I put them right back in this cabinet. And we are all ready to go with those for the week. Another thing that I do on Sunday afternoons is I stock my water bottles for the week. And you will see when I resource these as you watch my other routines. I have a cabinet right here and I just grabbed this from the garage. I drink my water bottles at room temperature. A lot of you that follow me on Snapchat will already know these things. Another thing I do on Sunday evenings is I bring a whole case of water in. I know, I know, why am I spending my money on bottled water? It just works for me. It just works for me. I stock down here underneath my cabinet. 
this entire case. My husband also will work out of here and grab water bottles. I tend to go up through about four of these every morning, midday. I go through about four. I like to be able to resource water bottles from this side of the house because I'm in and out of my room a lot. When you work from home, you're all over the place. Again, that's why I'm so lucky that I can drink room temperature water. Also on Sunday afternoons or evenings, I fill my vitamins for the entire week. And you would have gotten to see my vitamin video, what Tracy takes for health and beauty. You've already seen all of these containers that I fill. I line them up. I have seven of them, one for each day of the week. Basically line them up, I open them all up, and then I fill them kind of how I shared with you in my vitamin video. All right, everything is filled. I have a little designated spot that I keep this and I will not pull this back out until next Sunday when I fill these. Everything is filled. I close them all up and I store these in the same cabinet that I stored my water bottles. Another thing that I do is I generally have a protein shake every single day. Now that can be messy and it can be time consuming, especially if you are dashing out the door and you're going to make one for the road. I have these little cups that I get at Gordon's. They are five and a half ounce cups in lids. I fill seven of these. You can kind of see a pattern here. I prep everything for each day of the week. I prepped seven coffee mugs. I prepped seven containers of vitamins. Now I'm going to prep seven protein cups. I also sell protein. Many of you already purchase it from me. I will have all of that information in the drop down box as well as the blog post. I do keep a smaller container in a cabinet because this is so big and bulky. I take one level scoop of the chocolate protein powder. I pour it into the container. I go on to the next one and do the same thing. Then I do the same thing with the collagen peptides, and I also do the same thing with the fiber prebiotics and probiotics. So each cup has three different things in it. Then I store all of my containers in this cabinet right here. You can see my Nutribullet is in there. If I want to make a shake, I can pull everything out right here, plug it in, and I'm good to go. It makes it so much easier when you can just take your container and you can just dump everything in here. It saves time and it's also less messy. So I know again, this seems like who would do this stuff? I would, I would do it because it saves me time. A lot of times people aren't choosing the better option for what to have for breakfast or something because they don't, they don't have the time to make it, therefore they stop and get something fast food on the way. This is when I finally get to sit down. I make myself a nice cup of hot tea because I am going to be here for a while. I am planning my entire week. If you've watched my other videos where I have shared like family planning calendars, my organization systems, I will have all of that stuff linked below. If you've watched those, you kind of have an idea how I operate. This is when I wrap my head around my whole week. Again, failing to plan is planning to fail. I have the family calendar where everybody is color coordinated. I have my planner that I have to work out of which has all of my personal information, my business information. I have my priority planning pages which I will have a link to where you can purchase these. These are Tracy Hensel planning pages and so now I have my own and I have a couple different ones that you can pick from so you'll be able to click on those and see which one suits you best. I also have the chore list which I resource a lot of that off of my laptop. I've also used the Cozy app which I've shared with you before. I have another calendar that I do for my filming schedule. I've got my coaching schedule. I'm prepping for coaching sessions with my clients. 
there's a lot going on here. And that's what you have to do is you have to look at what your week consists of and how you want to organize it. You can see here that I am filling out a page for each day of the week. Again, these are my priority planning pages, one for every single day. You can get to a link to these in the drop down box and on the blog post. I have all my resources in front of me. My family calendar is there. I've got my business calendar, all the resources that I need to plan each day. I could eventually do a whole entire video just on this. If you would like me to let me know in the comment section below, make sure you resource the videos I already have. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed my Sunday night routine. Don't forget, we will be back in a couple days for the morning routine. And then after that, we will be doing the nighttime routine. I will see you in a few days. Take care.